Is this really happening? You all, the tables continue to turn. All of the men that a lot of these women classified as lame, squares, nerds, geeks, boring, these same men are now the ones being chased being pursued, being begged for. Do you understand me? Ladies, what happened to the bad boys? What happened to the guys that were living life on the edge? Did it not work out for you, ma'ams? Did you come to realize that you actually needed men that were wise, intelligent, stable? Did you finally come to your senses after being ran through and reckless? And now you want to settle down. Now you want to find you a good guy. I know y'all lying. This cannot be real. Like, I honestly want to know, like, is, is this the Twilight Zone? Like, why is everything shifting right now? Like, everything is just turning around, being reversed, being flipped. And I am mind blown. I am not going to lie to you. If y'all would have told me that there would be a time to where women in bulk, in mass, would be out here in pursuit of quote unquote lanes, nerds, geeks, the same men that y'all call incels. I would have said, oh no, that's not happening. No, not at all. As a matter of fact, you know, these women are going to continue to fall flat on their faces. They'll never come to their senses until it's too late. And then that's when they want to turn the tables around. But, you know, it'll never be a day where women are out here chasing up behind men. <laughs> but it's here. It's here. And not only is it here, but it's loud in our faces. This cannot be swept under the rug. It cannot be overlooked. Like, this is live and full effect. Women are now chasing up behind men. The ones that they passed up and said that, you know, they were too predictable. They were too boring. They are now chasing these men. The very thing that a lot of women swore up and down that you should never do. You should never pursue a man. You should never chase up behind a man. You should never inquire about a man. Let him come to you. Let him chase you. Now, y'all are doing the exact thing that you preached against for so long. The very thing that y'all tried to condemn me for telling y'all that it was okay to do. See, I have been telling women. And y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This is some real talk. Let me pop off real quick. I have been telling women that it is perfectly okay for you to go after what you want. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, if a man is not paying you any mind or attention, that you should just be thirsty for him and do whatever's in your might to go and get him and change his mind. No, but it is nothing wrong with a woman seeing a man that she likes and shooting her shot especially if he's giving her playback, especially if he's a quality man. What is wrong with that? Especially in today's time to where a lot of men are going to be skeptical about approaching women because look at the, the climate that we created. We created an environment for men to feel afraid. Oh, I don't know if she's going to say I'm harassing her. I don't know if she's going to try to turn us into a me too situation. Let me just mind my business and eat my food. We've created such a circumstance to where women, y'all are going to have to shoot your shot. 
And again, I'm not saying to go chasing up behind men that don't want you or, you know, being used up by men and all of that. But I am saying there is nothing wrong with a woman flirting with a man. Saying hello to a man first. Nothing wrong with that. And seeing where it goes. A lot of us women have met our husbands by hitting them up first. And had beautiful unions. So there's nothing wrong with that. However, I do find it to be very alarming (laughs) that all of you saying women that condemn even the slightest notion of a woman pursuing a man in any capacity are now taking trips, paying for $800 tickets to go and talk to and mingle with the very men that first things first you said that you don't want but on top of that you're going out of your way to get his attention oh this is mind blowing (laughs) let's get into this you all and y'all like the video share the video and subscribe this is breaking and alarming news women are so thirsty now so tired of being alone and i told y'all this i told y'all this day would come to where these women wake up and they want to do things the right way but it being too late i'm under the strong notion that that's where we are right now right now we're in a state to where it's like okay now i get it as a woman and i understand that i need this type of man and not that type of man but now those men already are looking at you sideways and you've already ruined your reputation you've already been in the streets like all the way around these men are looking at y'all like nah (laughs) no no thank you the same nerds and geeks lanes boring guys are now rejecting you. (laughs) You can't make this up. Y'all, when I came across this video, I said, wow, are women, more specifically black women, out here chasing men, chasing nerds, chasing black men and black nerds? What? I thought they were incels. That's what y'all said. Like the video, y'all. Share the video and subscribe. Shout out to Dating Right. Um, I got this uh, clip from them. Um, But let's get into this, you all. Because this is what is going on right now. The women are now chasing up behind the nerds. Okay? The quote-unquote nerds. When all actuality, these are just intelligent men. Wise men. But now y'all need help. Now, you know, they're the pick. Now y'all struggling. You know, they're the pick. But they don't want you anymore. Maybe at one time they did. And y'all know what's real crazy? A lot of these guys that y'all rejected, they have now come to the terms with the idea of you all doing them a favor. You did them a favor by rejecting them. You expose what type of woman that you were, and ultimately they were better off without you. So do you really think they're going to take you in now? And you got all this baggage? Girl, please. Anyway, let's get into this. Y'all like the video. As these women are becoming more calculated when it comes to their desperate hunt of looking to secure a husband. I'm your Uber driver. Get in. I didn't order an Uber. Got one now. I'm good, bro. Oh my god. Get the hell in. Wait. Is she insinuating that she will kidnap a man? Now I know this is supposed to be a joke, but all jokes have some truth in them. These women are so desperate now and struggling so badly now, and they want men now, real men. That now they are implying that they will kidnap. 
kidnap you in order to have you look at this let's blow this up and again y'all like the video the tables have turned baby look at this of looking to secure a husband i'm your uber driver get in i didn't order an uber we've got one now i'm good bro oh my god get the hell in tell your friends to pull up yeah. well how do we feel about women flying out to afrotech with the purpose of looking for husbands because apparently the men are in on it men know that women are doing that Oh yeah, they're, so, they're aware. Oh um, no, I talked to some of the bros. They said, "Bro, it's whole apocalypse out here. <laughs> the effectiveness and the efficiency of these hunters is crazy. And you know, they're just waiting for what's coming to them. You know, take the economy, and it's looking good out here to be a a tech guy. You know, there's a lot commented she's so glad that she decided to decenter male the attention for males in her life Apple tech is not cheap right Apple tech apparently is eight hundred dollars for a ticket correct like Hi. aren't familiar with Apple tech Apple tech is a conference that is essentially supposed to be like an amazing networking experience for black people in tech to network to catch vibes um to learn to educate themselves and you know to honestly be in the mist and then apparently it's also a great place for recruiters to recruit for tech jobs the like, new dynamic that has arisen is a result of the tiktok girlies because tiktok girlies came online and gave girls tips they're like yo like if you guys want these husbands like there's a new hub like there's a new hive and then they're like yeah the tech guys are all there and then you know they're basically chilling out in these suites and hunting these guys down now ain't this something the men that these women used to call lames and cornballs are now in and they are the men that these women are chasing now messages specifically for black men and black women who are interested in dating other black men and black women listen to me i just did a talk at the organization of black aerospace professionals let me tell you something this is the new dating strategy all right i need you to look up professional organizations black professional organizations i need you to look up their annual and national conventions and i need you to just show up show up and don't even i don't want to hear you talk about oh ooh, that's being thirsty you over here in a drought and then you got the nerve to ask if it's bubbly or still shut up all right show up i'm recording this during afrotech weekend and if you're not aware afrotech is this big conference put on by blavity that gets together a lot of black people in tech um, on paper for job opportunities and career growth. But what I have heard from a lot of the people that I know going to Afrotech is that they are going to Afrotech looking for a relationship. But I have to come on here and say that like, I am so sad for the girlies that it's come to this. I wanna be very clear with what I'm saying. And that's not that I'm saying that you shouldn't go anywhere being open to a relationship or whatever. But what I'm starting to see is this like over strategizing and over taking in all this content on like how to get a man, where to go to get a man, what to do to get this type of man. And it's becoming ridiculous. Like so many of my dinner conversations are about relationships. So many like Sprinkle Sprinkle has been interwoven into my day to day life from TikTok, which mostly is a joke and like it's fine, but it's starting to not feel like a joke and it's starting to feel like a serious situation that I'm concerned about. No, I'm gonna let her finish, but I gotta pause for a second. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe, okay? Again, this is very breaking and alarming news. We gotta spread this. Now, the woman before her, the chocolate sister with the glasses, you know, she's she sounded pretty fed up. She was like, you know, y'all are out here talking about how, you know, um, this is thirsty or something along those lines. And she's like, look, shut up. We're out here in pursuit of what we're wanting in life as women. We have an innate desire to be with providers, protectors, leaders, and teachers. And so, yeah, a lot of the women now are pretty much sped up with the whole narrative of, oh, the man chases us and we never do this and we never do that. These women are struggling. And as quiet as kept, the, the same ones that are trying to preach to these women not to do certain things, you're struggling even worse. These women are tired. They're tired of struggling. They're tired of working so hard just to make half an end meet.
So they don't want to hear anything more from you females out here telling them, oh, you know, you're too good for this and you're too good for that. And you are the prize and you are this and you are that. Look, you better go after what you want. All right. Within reason. Because some of y'all can be unrealistic with what y'all are pursuing. So we, we got to go there as well. But nonetheless, like, yeah, women are tired of the same old tired outcomes and stories and songs. Like, it's getting old. And they're getting old. Bills through the roof. Prices through the roof. Loneliness through the roof. It is in our nature to want love, companionship, support. So a lot of women are just tired and fed up. Now, this woman here, she's getting on my nerves already. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you, she's getting on my nerves. She's out here pretty much trying to fight against women going after what they want. She's like, oh, this is so pitiful and this is so sad. Are you women really out here um, trying to find men that you are compatible with? Oh, this is just trash. This is just sad that every conversation that I'm having is revolving around relationships. Newsflash, lady. You cannot escape your nature. Hear me out. And y'all like the video. Women like her that are trying to fight against nature and fight against her womanly instincts to have a family, to have a husband, to have a man, to have somebody that she can share her life with and love. I mean, it's she's pathetic at best. You're pathetic, ma'am. So for you to even come out here talking about, oh, you know, I just can't believe we have women today trying to, you know, go out here and get these men. Well, ma'am, in today's time, seriously, how else are they going to get them when so many men are checked out and done first things first? Okay. When so many men are not trying to even get involved as far as approaching a woman because of, once again, the type of environment that we have created to where a man feels threatened to even give us a compliment. So, again, I ask, ma'am, how do you suppose that we fight against our womanly instincts and our nature? to want certain things, first things first. And then how do you suppose in today's climate, in today's world, that we actually go after and seek the men that we want? But I'm gonna let her finish. Y'all like the video. This is not to say that I don't understand the struggles of women, especially of black women who have everything that they're supposed to have on paper, but are still looking for a partner. But something that I have really internalized, especially this year, is that if you want to be the feminine in the relationship, you cannot strategize yourself into having a partner. Girl, shut up. Shut up. And I'm sorry, you all, but these type of females get on my nerves. They really do. Like, they think that they know what they're talking about when it comes to, like, the womanly side of things and being in your feminine, but they really don't. They really don't. They're feminine, quote unquote, to a fault, to where it's like, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not lifting a finger. I'm not going to let a man know that I'm interested in all. I'm not going to do anything that even remotely revolves around me have to put it in any work. If I got to put it in any work, I'm not doing it. Ma'am, shut up. As a woman, you're going to have to put some skin in the game, baby. She is one of the major reasons. Women like her are some of the major reasons why so many women are fed up today, are alone today, because y'all have taught them that, hey, you know, you're going, you're being very masculine if you are going to let a man know that you're interested. You're being very masculine if you're trying to strategize on how to be in a relationship. Ma'am. How do you think majority of people got into relationships? You think it was just 
you know, an instance where they slipped and fell in love. No, that's not how that happens. Not all the time. Sometimes you have to plan things out. So many women from different cultures and she brought up black women. So we're going to go ahead and, and bring it in. So many other women from different cultures, they have no problem with being strategic as far as, you know, the men that they are meeting. They'll go uh, to set up dates for their daughters. They'll go out of their way to go to certain social events to go and find men to mingle with. As a matter of fact, my social studies teacher uh, back in high school or American history, whatever it was, white lady, she told me that in her day, a lot of her as well as her friends, they only went to college to find their husbands. A lot of them found their husbands in college. And that was the whole reason why they went in the first place. Now, if they just so happened to get educated on top of that, great. But she said a lot of her friends, once they found their husbands and their husbands, you know, pursue whatever career or they studied whatever they wanted to, uh, to study, they dropped out after they got married. Like, oh, I got my husband. I'm a, yeah, he can do that. You know, like that is what a, a lot of these women from other uh, cultures are doing. So I find it problematic that when it comes to black women in particular, we have such a fit when it comes to us as women doing anything remotely close to going after the men that we want to be with. So I find her whole rhetoric to be problematic, to be honest. Okay, ladies, although I do find to be very ironic, if you will, that y'all are now chasing up behind the same men that y'all ridiculed and shamed. I am not going to sit here and act like it's a problem with what y'all are doing. Like, I think it's a, a great thing. Um, I'm glad that y'all are waking up. I'm glad that y'all are pursuing intelligent, wise, responsible, studious, ambitious men. I'm glad that y'all are doing that. I just don't like that it takes for life to beat you up in order for you to wake up. That's the only gripe that I have, all right? But y'all are actually doing things to me, you know, in a, a righteous path, in a, a righteous way. I, I don't have a problem with it, you know? All that I would say is we have to do better as far as prioritizing these type of men earlier on in our lives. Stop waiting until you're, you know, in your 30s or late 40s and all, stop waiting that long in order to try to take these type of men seriously. You know, these are the type of men that you should be building with. These are the type of men that you should be, you know, settling down with early in that way. By the time you are in your early 30s, mid 30s, early 40s, y'all are solidified. Let's not get it twisted, you all. These men that y'all classified to be as uh, nerds and lames and geeks, these men are making a whole bunch of money, right? Especially in tech, they're making beautiful money. So they're good now. The only issue that I think that a lot of y'all will run into is the fact that a lot of these men will probably reject you now, you know? And that's why I do feel like it's very important for us to prioritize these men early on. Don't make them feel invisible and unappreciated and undervalued while they're establishing themselves. And then, you know, once they're good and solidified, now you want to show up to their doorstep. Don't do that. That makes you look fake. That makes you look suspicious, like a user, a gold digger. And a lot of these men, they, they're just not going to go for it especially if you were the same woman that rejected him in the past. They're not going to go. But a lot of these men that y'all are now trying to pursue, they're solid. And you could have been solid right along with them had you taken interest in them early, had you poured into them early. You could have been just as good. You could have been eating just as good as they are. But you prioritized Smokey. And look at you now. And look at him. Fellas, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Are you in tech? 
Um, can you vouch for this being a, a new trend as far as a lot of these women showing up to these events and looking for husbands? Y'all let me know. Um, are you being chased down heavily by these women? Um, are you going to go for these women? Y'all let me know. Maybe there's some men out there that would give you a chance. Y'all let us know. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And ladies, please stop waiting till it's too damn late to wake on up. Peace.